Hello, everyone. If you have divine intellect only possessed by a tiny fraction of the world's population, you'll know that Sonic is in grave danger. And of course, being a young, passionate fan whose only experience with game design is just playing the Sonic games, I've come up with a foolproof solution to the problem. So the big problem with Sonic was during the transition into 3D. I like to shit on game reviews that say this, but I have to mention it myself, otherwise what I'm talking about won't sound credible. Sonic Adventure was a masterpiece. Sonic Adventure 2 was also a masterpiece. Sonic Heroes was a masterpiece too, but then everything fell apart when Sonic 06 came out. And then Unleashed was a masterpiece. And then Colors was a masterpiece. And then everything fell apart when Forces came out. The good in Sonic was reinvigorated by the release of Sonic Mania, which was an officially released fan game. It was developed by fans. So that means any fan can be better than Sega if they try. So here's my try at fixing 3D Sonic. First off, make the controls like a perfect middle ground mix of the boost games, the classic games, and adventure. Make sure the controls are tight and loose and smooth and rigid. The game should feature momentum. I played Sonic Utopia and watched the Project Hero videos, so I know what I'm talking about in this regard. For the level design, using a little bit of automation is a good idea. I don't know what that means or how to pull it off, but you have to trust me. Just add a little bit of automation. It will solve every problem with the level design. The levels should be semi-linear with platforming and have lots of alternate pathways, but not alternate pathways like Forces. Instead, it should have alternate pathways like the classic games did, except better and in 3D, and more robust. Green Hill Paradise pioneered this, and it shows. Sonic's controls should be like this. A to jump, B to spin dash, X to boost, right bumper to bounce, left bumper to stomp, left trigger to homing attack, right trigger to roll, and the D-pad to quick step. This is a very coherent set of game mechanics, and I think it will really benefit Sonic's playstyle in the long run. The camera should be good, and when I say good, I mean it should be really good. It should be a perfect middle ground blend of Adventure's camera and the Boost camera, with free camera control. Now that I have single-handedly perfected Sonic's gameplay style, I'm hoping Sega takes some notes. They should also take some cues from Project Hero, because that's really good. I think more fan game developers could learn from my findings and ideas. After all, I just can't put these ideas into action to make something of my own, so it's my obligation to tell other people what to do. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you need somebody to beta test your fan game, I'm always on standby. Thanks for watching.